We can't talk about inventory valuation until we understand how inventory is recorded into the general ledger. That's why we're going to do a question quickly to remind ourselves. Let's read the question first. On April 1st, the general ledger of Tennis Today, a wholesaler selling to tennis retailers, included the following opening balances. Cash of $8,000, inventory of $5,400, common shares of $5,000, and retained earnings of $7,400. Now, that doesn't seem like very many accounts, but don't forget that I'm focusing on inventory. Tennis Today uses a perpetual inventory system. That's very, very important. A perpetual inventory system records inventory transactions perpetually, constantly. Every single time there's a shipment in, it'll be recorded into inventory, and every time there's a shipment out, it'll be recorded coming out of inventory. Because of that, we're going to have to keep a T account, and we have to put in the opening balance, $5,400. Inventory is, of course, a current asset, and it has future economic benefit because we're going to sell it in order to generate revenue. Let's go back to the question. The following transactions occurred in April. I've got the date and the description. Let's start. April 2nd, purchased inventory from Green Manufacturing for $4,900. Terms, 210, net 30, FOB shipping point. What did the company get? they got inventory worth $4,900. What did they give away? They gave away an IOU, a legal liability to pay somebody something in the future. That's an accounts payable. Let's record it. Debit inventory, credit accounts payable. Record it in the T account. April 3rd, the appropriate party paid $120 freight on the purchase from Green Manufacturing. Who was the appropriate party? Well, we can see that it was shipped FOB shipping point, and we know if it's shipping point, it means that it was only free to the receiver until it reached the doors of the shipper. Green Manufacturing has no responsibility for the freight costs. The freight costs are the receiver's responsibility, and we are the receiver because we are buying the inventory. We have to pay $120. Should we charge the $120 to expenses? And the answer is absolutely not. Accounting standards require that assets are recorded at their acquisition cost. And the fact is, paying for the freight has increased the cost of the inventory. Think about it this way. If you purchase a book from Amazon and it costs $10 to ship and your book was $5, did your book cost you $5 or did it cost you $15? And the answer is, it cost you $15. So the cost of that book, the cost of inventory, was increased because of the freight costs. Therefore, freight in costs go into inventory. That should be pretty easy to remember. Freight in inventory. So what did we get? We got an increase in the value of our inventory. What did we give away? Cold hard cash. Debit inventory, $120. Credit cash. $120. Add it to the T account for inventory. Notice again, charges for freight in go into the inventory account. April 4th. Discover that $200 of the inventory was damaged in transit. Can this inventory be returned to green manufacturing? And the answer would be no. Remember that the shipping terms were FOB shipping point. That means that the receiver, while the inventory is in transit, owns the inventory, is responsible for any damages to the inventory, and pays the freight costs. We, as the receiver, were responsible for any damages that happened to the inventory while it was in transit. And therefore, green manufacturing is going to tell us, eh, it's not my problem. So the answer is no. We cannot return it. Do we have to do an entry on April 4th? And the answer is absolutely. That's because our inventory no longer has future economic benefit for those $200. We have to write off the $200 because the inventory is no longer saleable. Let's do the entry. Where will we write it off to? A lot of times you see the use of cost of goods sold, but actually I'm going to use inventory losses. $200. Inventory losses is an expense account. 
it's an operating expense because it's part of the expense of doing business. So what did we get? We got a loss due to inventory damages. What did we give away or got rid of? The inventory. Remember that the reason we had to record this is because of the shipping terms. Let's update the T account. $200 of lost value. And so we're going to credit inventory. April 7th, receive a credit of $100 from Green Manufacturing for inventory because it was the wrong color. The inventory was returned to Green, FOB shipping point. You can see why we are permitted to return the inventory in this case on April 7th. It's because the wrong color was Green Manufacturing's problem. They actually made a mistake, so they gave us permission to return the inventory. That makes sense. The inventory was returned to Green FOB shipping point, which means that Green, who is the receiver, is responsible for all the shipping costs. That makes sense too, because we shouldn't be paying for return shipping when Green is the one who made the error. What did we get? We got back some of our IOU. We no longer owe Green $100. What did we give away? We gave away the inventory. Let's record it. April 7th. Remember, we got back our accounts payable. And what did we give away? We gave back the inventory. Let's update the T account. Credit inventory, $100. We'll continue with this question in the next video.